If you don't know how to shuffle poker chips, can you even say you know how to play poker? Doug Polk can do it. Rampage can do it. Phil Ivey can do it. Phil Helmuth can do it. And even Poker Bunny knows how to shuffle poker chips. So if you don't know how to shuffle poker chips, you're literally not a real poker player. And we're going to show you how to shuffle poker chips in less than 10 minutes today on Jack Ace. What up, donkeys? Jack Hayes here with JackAce.com, where we talk about my three favorite topics, gambling, crypto, and STEM. Today, we're going to take you from zero to poker chip shuffling hero in 10 minutes, guaranteed, or, or you can watch the video again. Now, I've seen several YouTube videos on poker chip shuffling, and they're mostly garbage, just pure trash. They all just jump straight into talking about technique without going over any of the prerequisites. So today I'm gonna to break this lesson into three categories. Materials, preparation, and technique. Like I said, most videos jump straight into technique, but materials and preparation are the keys to picking it up quickly. There are two or three pieces of equipment you need to help you learn. Number one really goes without saying, you need a set of suitable poker chips. The best type is the heavy composite poker chip used in most casinos but most consumer grade poker chips will also do. And I would avoid the slick and shiny plastic chips. They tend to stick together and aren't great for learning. And don't even attempt to use the cheap plastic chips you might find at a grocery or toy store. If you can't get casino grade chips, a standard poker set you can buy on Amazon will usually do. The second piece of equipment you're gonna need is the surface material. And I hardly hear anyone bring this up when teaching others how to shuffle chips but I actually believe it's the key to learning how to shuffle chips quickly. You often see people give chip shuffling tutorials on a hard kitchen table or counter. This is just idiotic. You need to practice on a soft padded surface. Obviously a casino grade poker table is ideal, but in a pinch you can use a thin quilted pad. And if you need a padded surface, you can buy the Jack Ace Poker Chip Shuffling Pad on sale for $150. Okay, just kidding. You can buy this dish drying mat from Amazon for just $12. And this mat works perfectly on your desk while you're muted for Zoom meetings. And one optional piece of equipment you can use is a set of silver dollars or some old school slot tokens. Try to get eight or more of them if you can. These are great for the training wheel version of poker chip shuffling. These tokens are heavy, thick, and have nice rounded edges that make them really easy to shuffle. Another overlooked step is preparation. You need to have hands that are completely free of oil and dirt. Clean hands allow the chips to stick to your fingers. Wash your hands thoroughly or wipe them with some hand wipes. Make sure there isn't a trace of oil on them. And make sure your chips are clean too. Sometimes brand new poker chips have a powdery film on them that prevents you from gripping them securely. And old casino chips should be wiped clean too. They often have caked on dirt and buttery goo from players who like to snarfle roast beef sandwiches at the poker table. Oh, here's oh. a ro roast beef sandwich coming in hot. Food makes me pretty lucky. Food makes me lucky. Oh, what is whoa, this? Whoa. What? What was that bite? <laughs> what in the world? So now you've got your chips, your mat, and you've taken your first bath in a month. Time to learn to shuffle. If you have the $8 slugs, let's start with them. Make two stacks of four slugs each and stack them side by side. Now straddle the tokens with your hand like so. You should have your thumb and pinky on the closest edge, then your middle finger and picker pointer on your outside edge. Then your ring finger should be on the outside preventing the chips from falling out of line. With the metal dollar tokens, you pretty much need to just push them together and use the ring finger to prevent them from yard sailing. You can push down slightly with the four outer fingers and the middle should pop up. This is why the padded surface is so critical to have. You aren't able to do this on a hard surface. The dollar slugs are great for learning the proper positioning of your fingers. And I've been told I have an excellent fingering technique. Maybe one day you'll get compliments on your fingering skills like me. And once you've mastered the metal slugs, you can graduate to plastic chips. Start with two stacks of four chips and position your fingers the same way you did with the metal slugs. Push down with your four outside fingers but with the non-metal chips, your ring finger has to do some additional work. Use the ring finger to slightly raise the chips in the middle. This might be the only time you don't get mad dog looks when you check raise. The ring finger will regulate when the chips interleave. You want to start at the bottom of the stack and work your way slowly up to the top. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team 
So do this a few times and make sure you're doing the following things. You want to push down, you want to push together, you want to lift up in the middle, and you want to guide the chips together. Once you've done this a few times, work your way up to five chips per stack, then six, seven, and then eight. And once you've mastered two stacks of eight, you've pretty much made it. But now it's time to graduate to hard mode. In hard mode, you want to start with two different colored stacks of chips. And you want to keep shuffling them perfectly until they're back to being two uniformly colored stacks. Using hard mode is a good way of keeping you honest and making sure your chips aren't getting clumped up when you shuffle them. If you mess up, using two colors will make your mistakes stick out a lot more. So the people who are able to keep their stacks in order are the true master chip shufflers. Splinter, so you're the legendary dragon warrior, hmm? Uh, I guess so. Wrong! <laughs> For two differently colored stacks of four chips, your colors should be reunited every three perfect shuffles. For two stacks of eight chips, your colors should be reunited every four shuffles. And for two stacks of two to the n chips, your colors should be reunited every n plus one shuffles. And in another video, I'll show you a simulator that I wrote that shows you how many times you need to shuffle chips in order to get them back into uniform stacks. So after watching this video, if you can hard mode shuffle four plus four chips, that's a great start. If you can hard mode shuffle eight plus eight poker chips, congratulations, you're a real poker player. And if you can hard mode shuffle 16 plus 16 poker chips, congratulations, your four-time NBA champion, Shaquille O'Neal. Every day I'm shuffling. So now you're a poker chip shuffling Shifu. Well done, students. If you've mastered poker chip shuffling with your dominant hand, try it with your other hand. <clears throat> there is always something more to learn, even for a master. Just think of how intimidating you'll be when you triple barrel a stone cold bluff while shuffling chips with both hands. Anyway, if you learned anything, remember to like and subscribe. Always gamble responsibly, and peace out, donkeys. Mm -hmm.